The Marlins are looking for their first sweep of 2023, and they've got a pretty good chance to do it with their ace, Sandy Alcantara, on the mound. They'll be going up against former Marlin Zach Gallen. Now, when Zach was traded to the Diamondbacks, the Marlins received center fielder Jazz Chisholm Jr. Well, there is Sandy Alcantara getting ready for the start this afternoon, the last of a three-game series here at Lone Depot Park, and he is looking to bounce back from a rough one. Rojas in the leadoff spot today, leading the Diamondbacks in hits. First pitch of the afternoon from Sandy is a fly ball out to left field a long way back for De La Cruz but he will make the catch one pitch and one out and that'll bring up the second baseman Geraldo Perdomo 3-2 reps it up at 98 and gets the strikeout that's like video game yeah. movement it's, it's not supposed to that's move wiffle that ball movement <laughs> we'll bring up Christian Walker again he has been struggling a bit 0-2 coming and he gets the strikeout. Got the heat working today. Top of the zone to get Walker. Two K's in the first. Just getting started at Lone Depot Park in Miami. And here's the other half of our matchup of aces. The right-hander Zach Gallen, who put on a curveball clinic in beating the Brewers last Monday. Jazz Chisholm Jr. is set to lead off the bottom of inning number one. Strikeouts have been piling up for Chisholm lately. And there's another one. Good changeup from Gallen. And there's one away. There's Garrett Cooper. And Zach beats him with a heater up. Two batters, two strikeouts. What a great start right there for Zach Gallon. That fastball's working for him today. Thrown a couple in. Now he goes up in the strike zone. Nice pitch right there. Corbin leading the D-backs in home runs and stolen bases. He's got three hits in the series. Corbin sends it out that way. De La Cruz is there, and he missed it. Might have lost it in the bank of lights. And Corbin is in at second base. De La Cruz is there. He's about to make that catch. Let's see if you can see his eyes. All of a sudden, he loses it. You can tell he loses it. He knows it's coming right at him. Runner at second base now for Jake McCarthy. Jake first pitch swing, and this is hit pretty deep left center. De La Cruz to the warning track, backpedaling, and he's got it. There goes Corbin, headed for third, and he's in there. Now the infield's in here with one out, man on third. Didn't miss with that one, 99. Top of the zone, gets his third strikeout. Away. That was great because you really could see his intent. Okay, I'm going to pound him up, get him to chase that high fastball. Thomas started Friday, didn't play yesterday, 0 for 3 against Marlins pitching this weekend. There's a base hit for Alec Thomas and a 1 0 Diamondbacks lead. They get that run home from third. Boy, that is a huge two out hit there for Alec Thomas. Nice job, nice piece of hitting right there. Got that change up right down the middle, shot it right back up the box. One ball, two strikes, long look for Sandy, and they picked off the runner. Sandy Alcantara gets Thomas. After Thomas got him for the RBI, 1-0. One 1-0, one Diamondbacks on top, top of the third inning. Herrera was up when Alec Thomas was picked off first base to win the top of the second inning. He's got that one working, 99 again. No day at the beach facing Sandy when he's got stuff like that, his fourth strikeout. No, he he's not only got it working up in the zone, but he's got it up in the zone with movement. It's a perfect 1-2-3, top of the third inning for Sandy Alcantara. We will head to the bottom of the third. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stolen. Did he go? Yes, he did, says Nick Lentz. And Gallon has strikeout number three. You hear that cut fastball. You see the rotation on it, just moving off the end of the strike zone there, off the edge. Mack has been tremendously efficient. 36 pitches, 25 for strikes through the first three innings. Top of the order for the Marlins in this fourth inning. They're still looking for a base runner. Strike three, says Chad Fairchild. Make it four strikeouts for Gallon, who set down 10 straight to start the bowl game. Second time he has struck out Jazz. Boy, look at the movement on that changeup. On the ground right to Geraldo Perdomo. A little bobble there, but plenty of time. Four perfect innings for Zach Gallen, who leads it 1-0. He backs for the early lead. Gallen has made it stick with four perfect innings so far. There's a pitch. Swung out and missed by Thomas. There's quickly two outs. 1-2 pitch to Herrera. And he swings and misses strike three. Slider from Sandy. That's the eighth strikeout of the afternoon for Sandy Alcantara. We are halfway home at Lone Depot Park. Zach Gallen is putting on a clinic so far. First time in his career that Gallen has been perfect through four. Here's Brian De La Cruz with nobody on and one out now after the fly out to center field by Solaire. First pitch to De La Cruz is bang into center field to base hit. It's the first one of the afternoon for the Marlins. Nice big sigh of relief. Curveball kind of hangs up there. So Gallen uses much better bite on his curve. That one stayed up. 
And he paid the price. Solid swing by De La Cruz. Sandy today, five innings of work, four hits and the run, no walks, eight strikeouts. And the only run came in, kind of a tough break on a lower line drive to left field that we think may have gotten caught in, in some lighting somewhere. One, one to Josh Rojas to first base. Cooper smothers it, and Sandy couldn't hang on. And now Rojas is going to go to second as the ball rolls around in foul territory. It's going to be an error on Sandy because it was a good feed, good play, good backhand stab by Coop. There's the feed. Had to reach a little for it, but certainly catchable. Got to take advantage of every opportunity you get against this guy. Here is Perdomo now. Perdomo bunts it right at Segura. He's got one play, and they move Rojas into third. Baseball right here, you got a man on second, nobody out. You're facing a tough pitcher. Just do the little things, move him over to third base. Now you got an opportunity for a sack fly or something to get that runner in from third. So here is Pavin. Pavin with another big hit. Rojas will score, and it's 2 nothing Diamondbacks. Pavin Smith, two for three. Boy, nice swing right here. One, two, two strike count. Here's Walker. Let's see what happens here. And Walker's got another base hit. Pavin will take the turn and head for third. This one gets to the wall. They may send him home. Here comes Pavin Smith. There is no throw, and it's 3 nothing Diamondbacks. An RBI double for Christian Walker. Christian has been fighting a tough stretch. Three for 38 in his previous 10 games. That's his second hit today. It knocks in the third run. So two runs home, and Sandy trying to stop it right here. Corbin Carroll doubled and scored in the second. One for two. Corbin gets it up in the air. Chisholm to the track, to the wall, and it's gone! Corbin Carroll takes Sandy Alcantara out of here. And the Diamondbacks have broken this thing wide open. Boy, what a swing right there. Nice two run homer for Carroll. Three consecutive RBI hits against the Cy Young winner, and it's 5 0 Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks had a four run sixth against the reigning NL Cy Young winner. And Gallon, who was perfect through four and a third, has given up only one hit and allowed just two base runners all day. He's got six strikeouts. Jorge Soler is going to be the batter. This one toward left center field. That's going to get down and get to the wall. So Lair to second with a one out double. In scoring position ahead of the guy who has their only other hit, Brian De La Cruz. And one out the pitch. Strike three called. Fastball right down the middle. And Gallen has his seventh strikeout of the ball game. That's going to be it. Zach Gallen last week, Gonzo, seven scoreless, gave up only three hits here today. Six and two thirds scoreless, two hits allowed. The former Marlin in Miami will leave with a 5 0 lead. New pitcher for the Diamondbacks is right hander Kevin Ginkle. I'll be hit by a pitch back in the fifth inning. Now the 1 1. And that one hit him on the hands. Another pitch hit Garcia. The first one grazed him. There's that two seamer riding in, catches him on that uh, bottom hand, the left hand. Well, looks like he's going to come out of this game. Jesus Sanchez is going to come into this game with a 1 2 count. Slider swing and a miss. Sanchez down on strikes. The inning is over. The Marlins get a one out double. They can't score. And after seven, it is the Diamondbacks five and the Marlins nothing. Diamondbacks go back to their bullpen. We saw Ryan Nelson start the game yesterday. This is Kyle Nelson. So runners at first and third and one out. Here is Jorge Soler. Rojas at third smothers it. There's one. And they've got the double play, and that's the ball game. A sensational start by Zach Gallen, a four-run inning against Sandy Alcantara. All ends up to a 5-0 Diamondbacks win. And the Diamondbacks snap the Marlins' four-game winning streak. They beat the reigning Cy Young winner to salvage the finale of this three-game set in Miami. 5-0 your final. All D-backs here today. Zach Gallen was sensational.